Yes, so what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. I'm gonna bring this to you as in depth as I can. We got the old system, we have the new system. We got the, the footage from uh, Annoying yesterday, man. Shout out to my dog Annoying. Uh, and let's just get straight to it, man. Check it out. This is gonna be the archetype that I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make the passing and uh, ball handling, defending point guard. I want to be Gary Payton. I want to be able to play. I'm one of the people that, that was mad that we couldn't play as much defense this year. So I'm glad that I'll be able to have the option to be a two-way player, to be able to do it. Now, that's going to come at the cost of what? I'm not going to really be able to shoot, and I'm not going to be able to dunk, and I'm not going to be able to really. I'll be able to do layups. I'm not really going to be able to dunk. But I shouldn't be able to dunk on nobody. I'm passing and ball handling. That's my primary joint, right? There's not going to be a player in this game that's going to be able to do everything. A lot of people think that you're going to be able to make a ball handling uh, shooter. You won't be able to play defense. I promise you that. You might be. You, you can make a ball handling shooter and maybe your offense will carry because people don't play defense in this game. That was the thing. People cried about defense last year, but people don't play defense anyway. So, and with the, and, oh yeah, and another thing, with it no being no auto contest this year, you're really going to see who can play defense and who can't. And then, uh, and with reaching, pulling you, Ray out of position, you're not just going to be able to reach, 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 reach. So defense, I feel like, or at least lateral quickness is going to be very important. I also think strength is going to be very important, but that's just me. I will make a two-way player. A lot of people won't. Looking at this thing right here, all right, let's look. Let's look at uh, what we got. With the old system, you got about, it's, it looks like what, what? How many notches is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I got 15 in there, but I only got 13 that I'm using because I wanted to be right at 70 because I don't think that 73 was going to help me. Um, and that gave me a 70 a 70 uh, shot. Now, mid-range this year is a little bit lower, but I got a 73 mid-range, so I'm not even worried about that. Mid-range this year, 1, 2, oh, let me switch it over. Bam, bam. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you get nine notches in that. Uh, last year, you got way more. Your, your, your mid-range can go up to like 85. This year, it looks like my three-pointer. We're going to use this as a baseline. I'm, I'm thinking that this is like right at 70. So we're going to call that 70. So using that same logic, we're going to go down here. We're going to call this about 80 or so. Because, you know, once you get up to 70, I think you start getting two points per joint. So... I think your lateral quickness will be will be around 80, and you'll be able to play decent defense, but it's not going to be overwhelming defense. Now, if I made a defending ball handler, then then you know maybe maybe that will be that will be it. I feel like I want to be a two-way player, so I'm gonna make a ball handling defender first, and we'll see how that goes. Now, I'll, you can't see how many gold badges you have, but I'm guessing I, I don't know. It says like I have like eight. I would have eight. So I don't know if defensive stop is going to be one of those. I hope it is, but um, hey, maybe not. Maybe you get the four. Maybe you get four badges. Like I don't know how the gold badges go. If I were to make an educated guess, I would say that you would get some. You're going to get all of the. Uh, you're going to get all of the ones in your primary. You probably get two or three from your secondary. So maybe three from my secondary, and then everything else will be bronze from that, and then I mean from silver from that, and then bronze. Um, from what I can tell, from what I've seen, if you see, if a gold badge overlaps, like if you make a shot creating ball handler or ball handling shot creator, you'll get the, you'll go, you're going to get the, uh, you, you'll get the Amethyst badge or the Hall of Fame badge, you'll get it if they overlap, but it also could be, uh, another thing that I have seen, and I'll show you that right now, is that when you go down here, see, look, driving and finishing, I'm thinking that Either the skill has to meet a certain threshold, so his dunks and layups are 90, so he can get posterizer, he can get uh, one-man fast break. What, is his, is his, is his uh, rebounding up? Oh, one-man fast break, this is, this is when he takes off. So that's probably speed and speed with the ball and all of that stuff right there. Um, so I'm guessing that with the archetype, whatever makes sense. So a defending, driving, defend, uh, the driving and, and finishing defender actually makes sense. And the thresholds are enough. Even though they don't have any badges that overlap, the thresholds are high enough. I'm thinking if you meet a certain threshold or if it overlaps, if the badges overlap, then you get it. Because like I said, ankle breaker, you will get Amethyst ankle breaker if you've got a shot creating a uh, ball handler. And I don't know if that's because it's going to mean that your ball handling is high enough. 
Which, which I don't think so because with with the um, with the ball handling defender, the ball handling is high enough. I'm thinking that it's either when the badges overlap or when or when uh, when it just makes sense or what have you. So, but I can tell you just straight up, that's what I've seen, you know, across the board with, with some people. But this is the only one that I've seen that's an anomaly where nothing nothing really overlaps. It's just that the thresholds are super high, and uh, you know, and they don't look half bad. That's what the slasher. A lot of people did last year anyway. Was have these guys and your lateral quickness is out of the out of the. That's crazy lateral quickness. And uh, you got a vertical. I mean, that, that's if you want to be a pure defender, that's probably going to be the position to make. Somebody like Madal be, but he'll probably reverse it and make it be the other way around. I don't know how it works if it's the other way around. But um, and that's just if defensive is important to you. Some people defense ain't important to you. And uh, you know, and obviously, so if 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 everything overlaps, and I don't even know if y'all can see that, but obviously. Obviously, if, if everything overlaps, like if you make a a, a a passing and a passing ball handler, and a passing ball handler as a secondary, then all the badges overlap, so you get that. But I'm thinking the defense is going to be important. I'm going to show y'all why right here, because when you when you go three point, okay, he got shot creator, boom, boom, driving and defending. Like he's going to change. He changed it to here. Okay, so lateral quickness. I don't know if it went down or not, but. I definitely know it went down when he did that. You lost a lot. You lose a lot of uh, lateral quickness when you change it to this. So now you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bars. And that's down from when he had the three point. Oh, okay, so we had eleven bars. That's eleven bars. Okay, boom, boom, here we go. So you had 11 bars there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, 15 bars last year was, was 74 lateral quickness or 70 lateral quickness. So it was very low. 15 bars was very low last year. So if we keep with that same thing, if, that, if this would bring you up to like 70, 15 bars is going to bring you to like 70, then not having those 15 bars is going to really hurt you because when he when you see when he does this, you really have no lateral quickness now. So that's going to bring you down. So I think with having defending, with having defending as your secondary archetype, it's like whatever your secondary archetype is, it's not going to be overpowered, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Because if you make this pa if you make this passing and ball handling three point shooter, I don't know if you put if you put passing and ball handling first, I was I was surmised that you're gonna have better um you know better ball handling and then just an the average three, so you'll be able to hit a you'll be able to hit the three consistently, but it's not gonna be overpowering like everybody's thinking it's gonna be. Then um but you're gonna suffer so bad on defense that I don't even know if it's worth it. We won't really know until the game comes out. But I just wanted to point this out, man. That if you decide to go double offense. Look at this. Like your lateral quickness, shot creating three point shooter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you only get eleven bars if you if you choose an off a off type. Driving and um I mean you get it look it looks like you get some more lateral quickness if you do do some of the other stuff. But it's just crazy how much your defense is gonna suffer. Now, a lot of y'all don't play no defense no way. So this ain't gonna bother you. But somebody like me, who actually complained this year about not being able to play defense, it's going to bother me. So I want to have as much defense as I possibly can. I want to be like we do everything defensively. We play defense first, and then we do everything from there. And everybody's going to say that they do, but we know that's not the case because some people just lag off their man and then just, just depend on their offense. Like I said, looking at this, this is where 15 bars got you last year when you had maxed out defense. It really didn't get you a whole lot. It's like a, a bunch of 74s and 60 lateral quickness. So if that's what 15 bars is going to get you this year, just imagine what these 11 bars is going to get you. Or maybe the 11 bars will get you this, you know, will get you just average stats, and then the 15 bars are going to put you up high 80s or mid 80s or something like that. Like I said, we just don't know. But I do know one thing. If you decide to go double offense, you have made a conscious decision to not play defense. But, but most of y'all don't play defense no way, so it ain't going to bother y'all. For me, it's going to bother me, so I'll be making a defending point guard. And uh, like I said, that's that's really how it goes, man. Um, 
before we had we had four Hall of Fame badges when he went backwards. So let's look at that one more time. So looking at that, you know, I really feel like I think that was uh, three point shooting, three point shooting. Yeah, that's three point shooting, three point shooting. So looking at that and just recapping, whatever badges you have in common that are gold, it looks like that's gonna produce because you know three point shooting, three point shooting, all the badges overlap. So you're gonna get that. I don't know why they put Tyler. Why do you get Tyler to score as a three-point shooting, three-point shooter? I guess it's because you know you're running around trying to get open, and when your stamina bar is low, you don't want to not be able to shoot. But your ball handling is gonna be trash, which it should be. You're not gonna be able to dunk at all. You get two bars for dunking if you're three-point, three-point, and then you get layups, and that's about the trashest layup you can get because it's like you're just gonna blow the layups. It's like uh, it's about what it is right now. So we're gonna see, man. Are you going to go double offense or are you going to go double defense? The way that I see it, man, um, or are you going to go hybrid offense and defense? I'm going to go hybrid offense and defense. And look, okay, so driving and finishing, if driving and finishing is the secondary, I don't know if it's the threshold thing or if it's because those badges just don't, uh, it's, it's not that powerful. But I guess I guess with it being your secondary, you see you don't, you don't get those badges. So I guess you got to put all this stuff together in the right combination because everything else that he did, you don't get, you you know, you don't get any badges. You don't get them. You get regular badges, but you know, and like I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure somebody, I think shot creators do have like mid-range dead eye. So if you would think if you made a shot creating uh, dude, you would have platinum mid-range dead eye, but I guess it's not the case. It may just not meet the threshold. I don't know. We don't know yet. This is just speculation, man. But I can tell you right now, based upon this, if you choose to go double offense, don't get mad when you can't play defense. Now, some people don't care because they just feel like they can carry and their man can murder them all day and, and they don't have to play defense anyway because I can I can shoot threes. So that's how some people play. I don't like people that play like that, but that's how some people play the game, man. It is what it is. I would prefer to have to be a two-way player and just, and just go at it like that, man. But that's just me. So I, this is what I'll be choosing. I'll be choosing ball handling and defending. I really hope that the gold badges, I'm guessing like you just get the gold badges, like you can get all the badges for that archetype and then they're just gold and you get like three more. So I might have like gold pickpocket. I might have gold uh, defensive stopper and gold chase down artist or some, something stupid like that. That's all I need because I just want to be able to play defense and that's all. Anyway, man, I don't talk too long about this, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all guys let me know what you think. Is it good? How you like the dual archetype system? Do you like do you like it? Do you dislike it? How can you build your player? These are the things that we can go off with the assumptions. I just want to be Chris Paul, baby. I want to be Gary Payton. I want to be able to hit an open jump shot or hit an open three, handle the ball, find the open man, and lock you down on off uh, lock you down on defense when I'm playing defense. That's all I want to do. Uh what do you want to do? Do you want to dribble and shoot threes and not be able to play defense? You want to be Steph Curry? Do you want to be a shot creating ball handler? Do you want to be a shot creating um uh, slash it. Do you want to be Kobe, nigga? Shout out to my dog. Uh, <laughs> shout out to my dog, Swante, man. Do you want to be Kobe, nigga? Do you want to be that slashing post or uh, uh, shot creating post score? Do you want to be Kobe? I don't know what you want to be, but if you want to be double offense, you want to be James Harden, you want to be a ball uh, uh, a ball handling three point shooter, or do you want to be Steph Curry, a three point shooting ball handler? Because as we saw, the the thresholds change uh, de depending on what you have in the primary. The primary is going to have the most. The secondary, you're probably going to get just a little bit of that. So depending on what you choose, you know. But like I said, this ain't enough for me. This this defense wasn't enough for me. I made it work. So maybe this defense will be enough for y'all and y'all can make it work. But I just want to be able to lock people down. If somebody goes double offense you and just goes to dribble guard build, you, you might want to be able to stop that a little bit. But we're going to see. We're going to see. Um, we, we can see a lot of stuff that we can forego, but we'll talk about that a lot of, uh, a lot next time. It looks like you'll be able to max out the stuff that you're going to want to max out because everything doesn't go to the top. But at the same time, a lot of people are not going to upgrade strength. A lot of people are probably not going to upgrade blocks and steals since your defense is trash. Nobody's going to up upgrade post score. But that's all stuff we'll talk about next time, man. I got to go. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Holla! Please stick out this mug. Once again, shout out to Anoa for the footage, man. And I'm out. Peace.